Hello, dear friends of the internet. It is me, Edward. Today, I'm going to install WordPress on Debian Linux. So, it's very quick to do, and I have my notes ready, so here we go. Here are my notes. This Debian Linux box is release 10 Buster, and this is a DigitalOcean droplet. And it's fresh install. It's got nothing installed on this droplet. So here are my notes. It shouldn't take too terribly long to do. This will fix Vim, so it does what I want it to do. And uh, then I'm going to add some things to bash RC. Let's see here. I want a color prompt. And then if we just source bash RC, we get a color prompt. Okay, so we want to create some swap. So if we just run these commands here, we'll get some swap going. And we can see how our swappiness is with this command. And it's set at 60. We want it to be set to 5. So we will vi this and add this at the bottom. There we go. OK, so if we restart the server, That'll take just a minute. So we're going to restart the server and that will get our swap going at the right swappiness. So let's reconnect, restart the session, see if we're in. Yeah, it's restarted. So now if we check the swappiness, we're at five. And if we check the memory, we can see that we have a gig of swap available, which is correct. All right, so we're going to do an apt update. And then we'll do an install of some packages that are required. So yeah, we want to do that. That'll take just a few seconds. Okay, and then we're going to install MariaDB. Now, this comes from this web page right here, which is included in my notes, which you can get in the description of this video. But this web page will help you to install uh, MariaDB on just about any kind of uh, release of Linux that there is. So these commands come from that web page. That installs the, the key for the release. And this will get the repository going. Let me see. Get my notes adjusted again, like that. OK, so apt update. And install MariaDB server. Yes. All right. So we can check to see that uh, MariaDB is running. And it is. Looks good. So let's secure the installation. All right. So the current password for root doesn't exist. So switch to Unix socket authentication. I'm going to say no because I have not used that yet and I'm not familiar with it. So change the root password. Yes, new password. Okay, remove anonymous users. Yes. Disallow root login remotely. No. Uh, remove test database and access to it. Yes and reload privilege tables now. Yes. And that's the end of that. OK, so now we need to go in and create a WordPress user. OK, 
Okay, so create database, WP. All right, create user, WP user. All right, grant all on WP to WP user. Very good, flush the privileges and exit. Okay, so, um, so I add some aliases to my bash RC because I like to have these aliases available to me on my installations of MariaDB. And there you go. So now if I do a source of bash rc, I can do the command log and I get all of the MariaDB history inside of the log. Okay, so now we need to install PHP. So we will run this in two commands. And then the next one There we go. Okay. Okay, then we need to install Apache. Okay, it's already, it looks like, uh, ta -ta -ta, reading. it's already the newest. Okay, it's already there. Okay, I think that comes in because of this. This It's a dependency. This depend, depends on this. All right, so we're going to enable rewrite. And that would require a restart to make it actually work. And now we're going to create a configuration. So this file does not yet exist. I've already pre-created it here. There it is. And you can see here that I'm going to be using this as my server name. So that's the URL that I will use in the browser. Okay, I need to enable the site. So I create a symbolic link from the wordpress.conf file that I just created to the site's enabled directory. So now if we do this directory, we can see that it's right there. Okay. Um, now we need to go into the directory that's create, you know, that's going to host the website, and we're going to grab WordPress. This creates this file right here. And we grabbed it. Now we're going to unzip or untar the file and we will make the files all owned by www-data which is common on a Debian install and if we restart Apache we should be able to get to our website so if we go to 303.duckdns.org there it is it worked. So if we continue here, let's go. The WordPress database name is WP. The username is WP user. The password is password. Local host is the database host. And run the installation. Okay, site title is 303. Username is Edward. Password is password. And my email address, confirm weak password, and install WordPress. And there you go, success. Go away. Okay, log in, Edward, password, log in. Great, we have installed <laughs> WordPress. And the release, which is interesting to me because I'm supposed to be at 5.7, and it's not quite yet available, even though today is the release date, supposedly. 
and I need to verify that my plugin will work on WordPress 5.7. So I'm going to actually wait until it actually releases. Uh, I'm not going to check that until it's available, but I will keep this install until it is available and then I'll do another video that shows you that my plugin either works or needs to be adjusted for uh, WordPress 5.7. Thanks for watching. Bye.